Welcome. In this video, we are going to explore the database development life cycle. The database development life cycle is a systematic approach to planning, designing, implementing, and maintaining database systems. It ensures that the database meets the needs of the organization and its users. The cycle includes several phases, each with specific activities and deliverables. Let's take a look at each phase, starting with planning, designing, implementing, and finally maintaining. Now let's dive into phase one, planning. The planning phase is the foundation of any successful database project. During this phase, the project's scope and objectives are defined. Key activities include defining the project's scope and objectives, identifying stakeholders and gathering requirements, analyzing existing systems and data sources, establishing a project timeline and resources, conducting a feasibility study, and defining success criteria and constraints. Key deliverables in the planning phase are a requirement specification document, a feasibility analysis report, a project plan and timeline, a budget estimation, and a data migration strategy. The second phase is the design phase. In the design phase, we create a detailed blueprint for the database. This phase includes conceptual design, which involves creating a high-level view of the data requirements without technical details. This includes entity identification, relationship mapping, and business rule definition. Logical design, which involves developing a detailed data model independent of a specific database system. This includes normalization, key definition, and attribute specification. Physical design, which involves creating an implementation-specific design for the target database system. This includes storage structures, index selection, and performance optimization. During the design phase, several tools and techniques are used. These include Entity Relationship Diagrams, ER Diagrams for short, which are visual representations of entities and their relationships in the database. This includes entities, relationships, attributes, and cardinality. Normalization, which is the process of organizing data to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. This includes first normal form, second normal form, third normal form, and Boyce-Codd normal form, or BCNF for short. Computer-aided software engineering tools for database design, also known as case tools, Examples include Erwin MySQL Workbench and Oracle Designer. Data Definition Language, or DDL scripts for short, are used for creating database objects. An example of this is shown in the code. The third phase is the implementation phase. In the implementation phase, we bring the database design to life by creating the database and populating it with data. This phase involves three main steps. Database creation, which involves setting up the physical database environment. This includes installing database management system software, configuring storage parameters, creating a database instance, and setting up security and access controls. An example of code is shown. Schema implementation, which involves creating database objects based on the physical design. This includes executing data definition language, or DDL scripts for short, to create tables, define constraints and relationships, create indexes for performance, and implement views in stored procedures. An example of code is shown. Data migration, which involves populating the database with initial data. This includes extracting data from legacy systems, transforming data to match the new schema, loading data into the new database, and verifying data integrity and completeness. An example of code is shown. Next up is the testing and quality assurance phase. The testing and quality assurance phase is crucial for ensuring that the database functions correctly and meets the required standards. The database testing process includes developing a test plan with specific test cases and expected results, verifying data integrity constraints and business rules, testing database structure against design specifications, conducting performance testing under various load conditions, testing backup and recovery procedures, validating security controls and access permissions, and documenting test results and addressing any issues found. An example of code is shown. There are two types of tests, 
functional testing verifies that the database performs according to specifications. This includes create, read, update, delete, or CRUD operations testing, stored procedures and triggers, data validation and constraints, and transaction management. Non-functional testing evaluates operational aspects of the database. This includes performance and load testing, stress testing and scalability, security and access control, and backup and recovery testing. The final phase is the maintenance phase. The maintenance phase involves ongoing activities to keep the database running smoothly and efficiently. This phase includes four main areas, monitoring, which involves continuous observation of database performance and health. This includes tracking query performance and resource usage, monitoring response times and throughput, and setting up alerts for critical thresholds. Performance tuning, which involves optimizing the database for better efficiency. This includes query optimization and indexing, as well as storage and memory management. An example of code is shown. Security management, which involves ensuring data protection and access control. This includes user access review and management, security patch application, and audit logging and compliance. Backup and recovery, which involves protecting data against loss and ensuring business continuity. This includes regular backup scheduling, point-in-time recovery testing, and disaster recovery planning. Here are some best practices to consider. Maintain comprehensive documentation throughout the database development lifecycle. Include design decisions, schema details, and maintenance procedures for future reference and knowledge transfer. Adopt an iterative development process. Start with a minimal viable database and refine through multiple iterations based on feedback and evolving requirements. Engage stakeholders throughout the life cycle. Regular communication ensures the database meets business needs and facilitates smoother adoption. Implement testing at every phase, not just after implementation. Early detection of issues saves time and resources in the long run. Integrate security considerations from the beginning. Design with data protection in mind rather than adding security as an afterthought. Design databases with future growth in mind. Consider data volume increases, user load expansion, and potential business changes. In conclusion, the database development lifecycle provides a structured framework for creating robust, efficient, and maintainable database systems. By following these phases and best practices, organizations can develop databases that effectively support business operations, maintain data integrity, and adapt to changing requirements over time. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.